I'm Uncle Mark, welcome to my channel. Just working on a 2012 Dodge Grand Caravan. I think this uh, will work for the 11s to the 20s. Uh, just a cabin air filter. Just gonna change that, or this, I'm gonna check it. But uh, you could change it, it doesn't take any longer. Let's get right to it, it's pretty simple. So to access it, you just have to go on the passenger side and it's actually in the glove box. So get all your junk out of there and just bend these in. I want to weigh both of them in and then it should just flop down. Now there's a wire on this one side. You got to make sure you don't break off. If I can get the camera to sit. Now it's, uh, I don't know how to explain the hole that it goes in, but it's like almost two holes. A big hole and a small hole. So you got to pull it towards you into the big hole and then it should just pop out what this wire does is it helps the glove box door open and close slowly there's a little mechanism that it pulls it just be careful you don't break that off so if we look up in there now you'll see these little tabs you just pull that tab and pull this tab and there it is there's a bunch of leaves on it to remember which way it went in if you're planning on reusing it you don't want to accidentally flip it the wrong way now I'm going to turn it upside down I'm just going to lightly tap it to get whatever kind of junk is in it out so actually I think it's probably pretty clean it doesn't look like it's really got a whole lot of dust or anything in it it's just more debris probably could have vacuumed it like with a little brush so I'll put it back up the right way. Yeah, I probably should have. I was doing something else on the van. And uh, I figured I should take a look at this. Maybe make a quick little video on it. It goes back up that way. It sits in there. And then uh, snap the little door back on. And it looks like we're pretty much done. So now, just have to reverse the process with your glove box. You just want to pull this little wire down again. Remember, it's only so long. It's quite short, actually. That might be easier just to hold it like that. And then, uh, like I say, it's a small hole and a big hole. The big hole is closest to you, so you need to slip that into the big hole and then move it towards the dash into the little hole, and it'll clip in there. If you take a look at it, you'll understand what I'm saying. Clip it into the big hole. And slide it to, towards the little side of it. A little tricky, but you can do it. I would have already had it done, but I got a camera in the way. There you go. Now you just need to sit the glove box uh, back into where it goes. Those little ears or whatever, those little stops them. So you need to bend them both in just a little bit. You'll see. It's easier if you can bend them both at the same time. It's a little hard plastic, but that's it. So I think just about anybody could do that. Uh, it's a little bit of monkeying around if you've got a lot of stuff in your glove box. Well, actually, off camera, I to take a lot of stuff out of their glove box. Don't tell them. Anyway, if you liked the video, give me the thumbs up. You can subscribe down in the corner, as usual, if you haven't already. Uh, I do have a playlist. We'll put it up here. Of... Dodge Grand Caravans that I've worked on. Uh, some friends of ours have one. My wife drives a, drives a 2010, the silver one that you'll see a lot of videos on too. So between those two and whatever else we can find, there is a lot of information, a lot of content I'm trying to put on this channel for you and for me. Till next time, you and your family stay safe. Bye bye from Uncle Mark. Remember to be safe. Your safety is your responsibility and should be priority number one. Also, give me the thumbs up if you like the video. Plus, please subscribe and you'll get all the notifications. It's easy. The little dog will show you how. Ring the bell. Ring the bell.
I'm Uncle Mark, welcome to the channel. You want to place... I'm Uncle 